for True Touch. Can he pull off the fourth win? Yeah, let's see what these players pull off their high hats this time. All right, game number four. So here we go. We've got True Touch, who is down 1 2. He won the first game, but now he's trailing by one game. <laughs> Loses another one. He will lose this tournament. Can he bring it back? He is the brown zerk in the top right corner. Facing off against the white zerk in the bottom right corner. He is Spanish, but he's currently studying in Belgium. He is the white zerk, Eon zerk. Oh, I didn't know that. Nice. Yeah, he doesn't speak a word of Dutch, unfortunately, though. <laughs> Wait, so how does he get by? Just speaking English? Yeah, I guess so. Nice, nice. <clears throat> we're, we're quite uh, bilingual over here. So. Well, I mean, I live in the Netherlands, but I figure Belgium is pretty much the same way. Yep, seems it makes sense. I think English level of uh, most of like the Scandinavian countries and around there is quite high. <clears throat> uh, did, did you say Scandinavian countries? Or European countries, whatever, man. Whatever. <laughs> whatever, man. As far as I know, the Netherlands and Belgium are not part of Scandinavia. Dude, I say like in that area. It's like close, right? You're like in like the northern central Europe, right? Northwest? Yeah. That's like basically, that. you're like basically Scandinavia. Okay, fine. Wait, 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 wait. Is, wait, wait. Is, uh, is, uh, whatchamacallit? Wait, what's the, what's the country that like pokes out from the top? Is that Denmark? Yeah, that's Denmark. Is that, Scan is that kind of Scandinavia? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, you see, you're like, you're like basically the same as Denmark. So you're like basically Scandinavia. Well, I mean, there's Germany in between, but... Well, it's close enough. Germany's basically Scandinavia, too. You're like all Scandinavians. It's fine. Okay. Dude, okay. dude, Scandinavians are like Vikings, right? You should be yeah, proud. I, I like Vikings. You so should be I, proud honestly, to be a I'm Viking. I'm very cool with this. All right, nice. There you go. Though we did get raided a lot by Vikings in the past, so... It's cool, man. Friendly to us. Vikings being Vikings. All right, anyway, what's, what's happening in this game? Is this 12 pool? Um, I think it's 12 pool versus 12 pool. Yeah, same build <laughs> as the first two games. But yeah, we, we had a small population living in the north of our country called the Frisians, and they, they occupy like a tiny area, like, I don't know, it's smaller than, well, Andorra maybe, you know, the uh, little country between Spain and France. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of that size, even smaller, and it's been around for like thousands of years somehow. Just its own little thing. No one cared apparently. And yeah, they they just stopped Vikings and stuff. It's pretty amazing. They just stopped Vikings. Yeah, like Vikings tried to raid them, but they didn't. They weren't very successful. They were just like, no, yeah. we will not be raided. Nice. The anti-Vikings. Pretty much. So let's see, we've got speed for both players before Lair, as well as expansion, so this seems to be pretty much both of their bread and butter. I wonder if they train a lot together, because they seem to be playing CVC in pretty much the same way. I mean, it makes sense. I, I think most of these high-level Zergs, you know, discuss strategy and stuff with each other. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure Eon Zerg and TrueTouch also both train on fish a lot. This might be like a Korean thing where just everyone goes 12 pool in CVC or something. Um, I find, yeah, I, I find it pretty interesting because you'd imagine that twelve hatch would naturally pop up more as a counter to that. That's true. I wonder what happens like, hmm, because twelve pool into twelve hatch. Obviously, your lings aren't going to kill him, but I don't know. Maybe the faster lair and spire allows you to do some sneaky things, like do you know scourge camp his uh, eggs or something when he tries to make uh, make mutas. Possibly. Maybe that's why. I have no idea. Oh, Yanzer doing a sneak. Well, he's trying to be sneaky, but there's nothing to sneak about because True Dutch was just staying in his base. <laughs> he does have uh, a two Ling advantage, but I'm not sure with the reinforcement uh, route if that's going to matter. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Oh, he's going in. Some of his lings are attacking the hatchery instead of engaging the opponent's lings, but here we go. Yanzer forcing the issue here in the natural is actually going to barely win out. Now, of course, True Touch does have the shorter reinforcement route, but with these links camping, the eggs, camping the links as they spawn, you can see they get free kills. Oh my god, getting so many free kills. True Touch actually in a lot of trouble having to pull so many drones here. Eons could potentially just take the championship right here. Take the victory. Oh my god, there's idle drones everywhere. True Touch is just all over the place, but it looks like with these extra links, he does 
I actually take this down, but look at this. He pulled all but one drone from his main. He lost so much mining time, too. Yep. So he's, he's gonna have way less links coming up. And here come more links by Eons are trying to move in. Trudlet is pulling his links back onto the uh, ramp. And Eons are fighting him over there. And looks like he's just gonna break through right now. Drones are coming in to fight, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough. They're pulling and they're trying to fight these links. The links are just gonna run back a little bit, force the drones to untangle. And it's just gonna move into the main base and oh kill the one drone that's still mining. Oh god, Eonzerk, he's going for the win. Eonzerk's first TLC win. I think this is gonna be it here. True Touch is in so much trouble. He's got like 300 gas and he can't do anything with it. Is this, this the Spire? Yeah, the Spire is even on the way for Eonzerk. So Eonzerk's not even all in on links. He's gonna have the Spire way faster than True Touch, even though they basically have the exact same openings. This, I think, is almost exactly the same as what happened in that game that. Uh, Eonzerk busted his sunken on Jade, where Shooter just got a little bit too greedy, a little bit too comfortable, maybe he made a couple of extra drones and is paying the price for it. And I made a few micro mistakes pulling his links back as well, yeah. while some other links were still attacking, so... A bit sloppy by True Touch, and looks like Eonzerk just gonna dust through here. A few drones left, and there he dies. GG! Eonzerk takes down TLC number 9 over True Touch, stopping True Touch from making the four wins in a row and tying Scan and giving himself his first win. Very, very nicely done by Eonzerk. I believe he's come second place a couple of times already, so... Yeah, uh, I think he, uh, he got second place against Gem5 once. Yeah, 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 that's right. So, nicely done by Eonzerk. We'll take home $50 and the title. And of course, congrats to True Touch for, uh, for taking second place and 35 bucks. And again, thanks to Russ Brain for... Uh, sponsoring this amazing tournament series, weekly cups, Team Liquid Legacy cups, every single weekend, um, which is pretty amazing, basically until January when we will be having the championship tournament. So yeah, thanks to all the participants, thanks to all you guys watching, and uh, thanks to you, Artanis, for co casting with me today. Yeah, it was a pleasure as always. Awesome. So uh, yeah, that's it for us today, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and we will have, of course, another uh tlc number 10 next weekend i don't know if we're doing anything special for that or if we're just going to pick some more ridiculous maps but <laughs> stay tuned and uh yeah see you guys next week thanks for tuning in guys bye <laughs>